as a real estate agent, part of your job is getting your face out there, making sure that people know, like, and trust you. And with your CMAs, we want to make sure that you have the opportunity to put your logo, your face image, your contact information, and whatever else you want to on your graphs so that when they look at their CMA time and time again, they know that this is the person I can know, like, and trust. This is the expert in my area. And the visual price system allows you to do that. Adding a custom logo or a headshot and your contact information is really easy to do in the visual pricing system. All you have to do is click the settings button here and it opens up this window. Next we're going to click this replace logo and customize footers button and it opens up this window. Here's where you would select to upload your company logo, your headshot, your personal logo, whatever you want to and that would show up in the top corner of the graphs. Now to change the footer and add your contact information or a tagline or anything else you want to, you would click Setup Header and Footer here, move over and click Header and Footer here, and you see that they both say None currently. Now don't change any of the header information. Uh, we don't allow that at this, this current point because what would happen is that would interrupt the actual title of the graph, so we just don't allow that because we want to make sure that the title of the graph comes through clean. But the footer is completely customizable. In order to change that, you click Custom Footer, and it opens this section up here. It allows you to change the left, center, or right areas. Um, you can type in your phone number if you want to. You can add a date. You can add an image if you want to. Anything you wish, you can add into the footer section. When you're done adding what you want, you click OK. Click OK again, and click Save Changes. Now this will now add that information to the foot of your graphs. Now before it can though, this box will pop up and tell you that it will be restarted before those changes are shown. So when you click OK, it will close it. So I recommend doing this after you saved your uh, CMA elsewhere or before you do your, your next CMA. So click OK and it's going to go ahead and close. And after it closes, you will have to relaunch the visual pricing system and those graphs will now be there. Once you relaunch the visual pricing system, you'll be asked the same question about enabling macros again. Click Enable Macros. And now when you make your graphs, what you'll find is they all have that information on them. Now when you look at them in the program, I'm going to load in some data here to show you. Oftentimes the actual chart itself does not show the footer live. So you can see here when I look at my odds of selling, my information that should say phone number is not on here. But when you do go to print it, you can see here now that the phone number area that I added to my footer does show up. So this is a great way to add your contact information and your logos to your graphs so that you can really brand yourself to the great information that you're giving your customers.